Hello my girls, it's me, Sweet Dark Layla, and today I have you do -do, a book review. So, the dead girl, I like hearts and stuff. Book 4, Me and My Friend Maddie, Dr. Book 3, is written by Robert Tomaguchi and illustrated by Kimberly Trop. I have reviewed his books before, but since I cleanse my channel, I may have to read two of them because they're going to hear. I'm feeling a lot better because I have notes this time. And I'll try not to ramble and I'll try not to spoil them. And I feel like if I am, I will give you a sign. And there's really not much to spoil. So, before I continue into the review, I would just like to say I just want to mention this one thing. Because my mom went gaga over that. Every time she sees my name in something, she just wants it. So, eventually she'll get there. Um, he will I also like to thank me for helping appreciate the bassoon. I play bassoon. Um, it's one of my majors. I'm, I'm a dual major in music and art studio. And yeah, I got him. I told him I played bassoon. He started listening to it, and I guess he really liked it. The sound's unique. And thank you. Thank you. I always like hearing someone say they love, they like the bassoon. It's, it's great. So keep on listening. Yeah. Let's continue. Maddie has a new boyfriend, which sends her BFF on a quest to find a girlfriend. While on a series of dates, he finally meets a girl he truly likes. Everything is perfect until he discovers something peculiar about her, and is forced to decide if it's a relationship deal breaker. So if you can, can't guess, the theme of this is acceptance. I feel like in all his books there's acceptance, but this is more prominent. So, I'm gonna say this now, I wish this was actually a lot bigger. Because I feel like their situations, especially I guess the southern matter, is a lot more intense. So I just wanted more. So this book left, left, left me wanting more. So book five. Gooch. I want more. I want more. Yeah. So the style of this book is actually like how a friend would talk to you when they're telling stories. Like, hey girl. So this totally happened, happened, blah, 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 blah. Ah. I don't know what that was. But yeah, it's basically like you're having a friend tell a story to you. So it's not that fancy, especially if your friend's kind of dumb. So it won't be all fancy. So yeah. I like it. It's quite an easy read. So if you just want something to pass some time, not that long, these books are quite easy. Depending on your reading speed, I don't know. But yes, I quite like it. So, the pace of the book. I feel like there's two different distinctive paces. The beginning is quite slow, and then gets to like, when he finally meets the girl, it gets really fast. And I kind of don't like that because... I want more. The slow place actually gave me some a lot of information. When it got fast, I feel like a lot was out, and I wanted more. That's why I just wanted more. Oh, more! So yeah. So Maddie has a boyfriend, leaving the narrator one and a girlfriend because of that. And you know, it's a really bad idea because you want one because someone else has one. You just know it's bad. It's just going on these dates and you can tell he's not very accepting of them. It's not they are on the inside. It's very antithetic wise and you just want to punch him because he's stupid and being a douche and I really wanted to punch him. But he's he keeps on going and grows. He finally meets the girl. And she sparks an interest because they met at this event. So they dressed up so he doesn't know what exactly she looks at at first, but he's like, This girl's pretty interesting. I'm gonna I'm just gonna See, we go on a date. Obviously, she's not what she seems. She's obviously not part of the gothic subculture. I don't think that's really a spoiler. Like, you're obviously going to tell. You can tell that something's going to be very well, non goth. But he really likes her, so he's going to try to work it out. So, I go on a few dates. He's really enjoying her. They're bonding. And they keep going. It gets to a climax. The whole acceptance speech goes on. Because it's just not accepting of her. It's like, is he gonna accept himself? Is he gonna accept himself to be who he is or change? And I think everyone faces that when they like someone. And you, everyone comes to the result. You can't change yourself when you love yourself. So obviously he loves himself. So yeah, this is where I wanted more. Like, I want to see after the whole climax with her and the parents, see more of the relationship build. Like, what happens after that? Do they work it out more? So obviously... It seems like they're going to stay together for a while, but I want to see if they really stay together. I want to see more. I want to see the relationship build, more of a struggle. 
It was very interesting to see the narrator have a struggle within himself, not just the girls he seems to have problems with. And that's very nice to see him grow into that. You know, probably not that smart. He's kind of sometimes a douche. But, you know, the narrator will always be there for his best friend. And the best friend is actually going to have a problem. Um, this is where I'm going to tell you you should not listen anymore because this could be a spoiler, but you do because it also brings up an issue. But it tells you I want something more out of this, especially from you, Gooch. You listen to this. So, Maddie and her boyfriend have a problem. Maddie's boyfriend's actually transgender. His sex is female. And he also didn't tell Maddie that when they first started going out. So they've been in a relationship for quite a while. And she, and apparently she always like, you know, you do the do kind of off the bat. She actually waited. Like, she actually really likes this guy. Because he didn't want to have sex on the first time or first night or whatever. So they're actually waiting. And when Maddie really wants it, it's not laying here. And she finds out why. Because he's a transgender. So his body's very female, but Maddie wants a male body because that's what she likes. But I think it's more besides that, like, the whole- I think it's way beyond just the gender issue because she's very an accepting person for who they are. It's just more of trust. It's what I got out of it because, like, um, her boyfriend couldn't trust himself or her right off the bat to say that he's a transgender. I went to see. And I think because that she can trust that, like, she doesn't know if he can trust her. Like, it's just the whole trust thing. I really want to see a relationship built off that. I know the narrator is helping her to go talk to him, to see him again after she felt very betrayed because there's just, she didn't feel there was trust there. And I want, I want a side story. Like, I really want to see that. Can you just have a, a side story just for that? Like, that's the kind of problems I love. I know. I just want more. This book has left me with more. So Gooch, this is your homework. I want a side story of this, or you better put this in book five. No, which sucks. I can't believe Gothic Beauty didn't put this in. I guess because there wasn't a lot of information. It wasn't really to this part of the story. Maybe that's why. But I love it for Gucci putting it in there because he's not ignoring the reality of that. Because it is part of our life. Why don't people ignore that? And it's there, so do ignore it. So I want to see more of that. Like, please, Gooch, I want to, I want more. More! Okay. You can come back now. You can come back. So yeah, that was my review. I really enjoy his books. This left me wanting more, so I expect to see more. Yeah. Oh. Before I go, like always, I'll show you my favorite picture. And I think this is my favorite picture, favorite drawing. Of all the series. This is a mermaid. Look at it. Isn't she cool? Look at the house wiggly. Excuse me. It's just abstract and it's just swiggly lines and pointy ends. And I just love it. Like, I just love how this one looks. It's honestly my favorite one. So awesome, Kimberly. Great job. So yeah. I think I will give this book... Hmm, how many stars out of five? Let's see. Four. I think four is okay. Because this book left me wanting more. <laughs> That's why. So yeah, I want more. Come on, Gooch, leave it up. But yes, I do recommend this book. If you're into um, the narrator talking to you like your friend's style. I know there's many styles people don't like, but yes. So, this is a nice read. I love this book because I always have lesson something to learn so yeah keep a lookout for more so like comment s subscribe i just kind of talked this morning i haven't had enough coffee i'm sorry guys and keep a lookout for our tom goji's books i feel like he's growing as a writer and has more books besides these series so yeah have a lovely day my ghosty